Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 45 of my Bath City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And here we have some key players tying up their contracts. You know, previously I was offering uh, contracts to players and now they're just accepting Simon Locke, a crucial goalkeeper uh, for us, I reckon, to get promoted. He's going to be a goalkeeper to help us get promoted from this level. Uh, from this division, I'm not sure above that, because right now he's just a good player, he's got some if improving to do, I'm not sure how good, but I'm sure he could probably play at League 2 level, I'm hoping for him to be that goalkeeper, but obviously looking above there uh, and beyond, uh, we're going to need someone a bit better, and that's that's what that's going to be in the back of my mind as well, um, as, we're, as I'm playing really the seasons in the next couple seasons, I need... I need to start bringing some youngsters in. I don't have too many with really high potential, maybe League One and higher. That's what i got to look for. I remember I picked up a couple of FM14. I had a couple with like decent Premier League potential and championship potential. Those are the kind of players I have to look for. So if you have any help for if FM15, if it's any different, or I just couldn't really... Like, I couldn't find any in the first season or at the end of the first season. Maybe it was just that. When I found them... In FM14, it was like three or four seasons in. So it may be the same case with this save. I'm not really sure. But also, yeah, Adelsby signed up. But Stern, right here, he he wants to improve contract, actually. I thought he was going to come to me to discuss, like, first-team football. But no, it's a contract. I'm going to speak to him and say, I'm not going to... Uh, where are we? No, because we're not using him. I'm going to let him go at the end of the season. I don't think you're worth as much money, no... Now, what's the option? Even if I wanted to, the club can't afford to offer you improve, yeah, improved terms right now. We'll say that. I'm not going to back down here. I'm just... There will be no new contract for you right now. My God, he's going to tell everyone in the media, like, <laughs> the media, this is lower league football. Who's going to care about you? <laughs> like, seriously. I've never heard about like lower league players are like, complaining about their contracts in the media. I'm not sure about you. And actually, I have just thought about it quickly here. You know how Ross Stern said how he's going to make a big fuss about it? I'm not going to risk him, yeah, ruining the morale of the team. He says he's going to spread to the media and these teammates or whatever. I'd rather let him go. So what I'm going to do here is mutual termination to see if he wants to leave. And if not, I'll just release him. Oh, he agrees. Perfect. Because that's usually cheaper. It's only 3.5k. If you go to contract and go and release on a free, yeah, 5.750. So compared to 3.5k, that's better. He's unhappy and he wants to leave. So letting him go now is better instead of him, yeah, just dropping the harmony. And now we're, we're free in the wage budget because I have a lot of more contracts accepting. Where are we? You see... Dan Ball, Simpson as well. and It went a little bit into the red, so I thought that we could release it. And yeah, we have £100 in the wage budget, not in the red anymore, so that's happy. Or yeah, that makes me happy. And also, Ross Stern's not going to complain <laughs> to teammates and the morale won't be ruined. And morale is a big reason why we've been on this fantastic form. We managed to win a few, got that good morale, and we've held on to it by performing because of that. So I'm so happy. So moving into the first game of the episode here against Bristol Rovers, it's an important game because we have that FA Trophy game next. We'll show you against yeah, Southport. Again, you can see all the themes there. I think, yeah, on on our day, we can beat anyone at the level we are in right now. That's where you can see our recent form. <laughs> our recent form has been amazing. But because of that, that's what I mean. This game has to be a good game by us going into that. We have to be on good form. Of course, honestly, we'll get promoted as well. I want to be doing yeah, good in both competitions. So hopefully, yeah, that can happen. Uh, we can get it. Asking for two wins is going to be hard. But we've done it before. We've won two away games in an episode. So this is going to be a team. We're bringing Shackleford. Or Shackleford. We're going to play him a bit more. Uh, because he is a good right back. If you look at his key attributes, he's got 17 teamwork, 15 work rate, 14 acceleration. So he is pretty quick. Can get crosses in as well with 11 crossing. And we'll see. He definitely gets forward a lot. So he can almost play as a winger in that. So he is a naturally attacking fullback. Matt Godden is coming in now. He still hasn't scored for us, but hasn't been given too many opportunity because of injury. But hopefully, 
Yeah, it's January now. Like I've been saying, when he got that injury early in the season, he could act as a new signing around January. And that's that time now. That's the time for him to step up. And hopefully, yeah, you got to do better in training as well. But he's just coming back from that injury. He's gonna, he needs that yeah match fitness. So hopefully today, he will get that. But he is a pretty strong side. I'm really happy about the team, how it's sitting. And see, if there's no room for Gallagher. He's just sitting on the bench, the captain, because... Yeah, he doesn't perform at a high enough level, unfortunately. A problem that we'll probably let him go at the end of the season. Just got to look at this Reusif guy. Yeah, he looks like a decent player. He's got a bit of strength, a bit of pace. First touch, passing technique. Looks pretty dangerous, actually, if I'm honest. So good at opposition instructions. Should be applied there. And then we'll move into the team talk. We'll let Leah Lamb handle that, as always. A pretty good reaction there. Strikers... I might, what was the team talk? It says, go out there and impress me. So what I will do for the strikers, we'll go passionately and say, I have faith in you. There we go. They're looking happy. But there's uh, some decent reactions for midfielders and a defender. So I won't mess with those ones. Come on. Huge opportunity. Of course, we've been on amazing form. But if we can continue it, we can assert ourselves with a position in the top five in the playoff places. And you don't know. Maybe Eastley can drop off. It's still another half of the season to be played out. McPhee finds Demkiv. So you look at the space there for Palmer. He dropped into a center mid roll. So Demkiv and Palmer both playing today. Here's Godden. Here he is. McPhee scores. <laughs> what a goal. Uh, that was created by God. That's what he needs as well. He needs some match fitness. Because I think if I can get him fit, he can score us a decent amount of goals this season. I'm sure I showed it in a previous episode at some point when I signed him uh, that he scored a decent amount of goals last season in the Vanarama South, the league we were in, actually. I think he averaged like a goal every two games, which is pretty solid. So he can do it at this level, most likely. I'm surprised the team let him on loan because we're at a higher level and he's a good striker. Oh, so close. We've got to put in team talk here. We've got to go assertively and say, concentrate. I haven't done yeah, too many team talks during the game of late. Touchline team talk, so we'll see if that will make an impact or not. But got to be careful from corners here. Come on, defend it. Well done. I've noticed we've got a, a bit better from defending from set pieces as time has gone on. Come on, contain Sinclair. Don't let him go through. Well done, McPhee. Really well positioned. You know how I've been talking about him, how he can play a midfield role. He's got decent defensive ability for a striker, and he showed that there. Demkiv, it's 2-0. Come on, Dan Dem. Oh, no way. Why does it take so long? I hate this, man. Look, because it was so cl Okay. Okay, yeah, it was close, because look at that. It was pretty tight. It was hard to tell in 2D, in first look anyway, because, yeah, really disappointing. It was offside. It was It was close. But, oh, man, I was so excited. I thought, yeah, like in my head there, I thought we are going to win for sure after that goal was scored, but then it said it was offside. Very disappointing. And it was a close call. But here's Clark. I I would have hated that if they score there. That's why I hate. When I get an offside call, that was a goal. And then, yeah, they go and score. But hopefully we can hold on, go into halftime, 1-0. We'll maintain the same way we're playing, like controlling the possession, or at least attempting to. Probably not completely dominating the possession, but just the style we're playing, approaching going forward. But anyway, we'll say assertively and say don't get complacent. Solid reactions, no confused reactions. I absolutely hate that. But but it's happened before where I get amazing reaction like that like that when I'm winning, like one nil or whatever. Say don't get complacent, and I score right or I concede right away, not score. But maybe it can be different this time around. Mildenhall, I'll make the error. Palmer. I don't think I've scored, or my team anyway, at low league level when the goalkeeper, he's out of position like that and they take the shot. They never score it. They either don't take the shot or they don't score. You thought maybe Palmer, like a young player with potential and, yeah, technical ability. He could have. He could have. Oh, so close. It's oh, How didn't they score that? Wow. I, th I was ready to say it's going to be a goal. But it didn't happen that way. So I accidentally pressed space and it might be a great opportunity to make a sub. Yeah, Dan Ball needs to be subbed out and we'll bring in... See, this is what Andy Gallina is good for. He can play like centre mid, defensive midfield, and all the uh, back four positions. That's absolutely amazing. He can come in... Can you change the captain? Or does that... No, that actually changes the position because he's the actual captain. So it's a bit of an interesting one. But Chris McPhee is a great player. He scored 
in this game, so that's not too bad. Anton Walks has been a bit poor. We'll bring on Dan Hart. So we're going to have to leave it like that. Dan Hart, not amazing there, unfortunately. But can he play defensive midfield? Yeah, he's natural there. So I thought he might have a bit better rating. So that's a bit disappointing. But anyway, we'll just make two subs for now. Just freshen the team up a little bit. Andy Gallinar, he's a leader for the club. So it will be disappointing to let him go. But this is what I, I can't favor players. I got to look at them without... The, yeah, you got to forget how they've played before because you've got to plan for a higher level. Andy Gallinar is not going to be able to play above con conference level. He's just not. you got to be realistic in that way. Because if you kind of, like I was going to say, favor players and they can't perform like I did with Ross Stern, I started him probably the first two months of the season. He didn't. He just wasn't good enough for this level. Sure, at Vanarama North or South, he's good because he's got that high dribbling and a little bit of pace. He can definitely create chances and score goals. But I think at a yeah step up, you obviously saw that he couldn't perform. Uh, so Matt Godden going to come off here. He got the assist and also... Uh, you're yeah, getting some match fitness now, so we'll just bring on JPS. He's another one we haven't offered a contract to yet. We may do so. I just want to see how he performs for the rest of the season. I have to see if he's going to yeah make the grade, if he will be able to perform at a League 2 level. That's what I've got to plan. I'm going to plan like we are going to make the playoffs and are going to get promoted, and yeah, which players are going to be good enough. But if you can see goals like that, we aren't. I told you we improved a bit from defending set pieces, but... Yeah, not always. <laughs> you look there. Brown put it in. And no one at all was on him. Where's the tight marking? So here we're just going to go. Might as well go for it. Might as well go attacking. Maybe in a, a bit more fluid for the last five minutes, I suppose. And maybe instruction-wise, just go route one. and uh, Play a higher tempo, just couple of changes, They'll play a more quick game, we'll see if it makes a difference, but I'll be more than happy just to pick up a point against Bristol Rovers, because they're near us, maybe, oh no, that's our, <laughs> we're defending us, so yeah, 1-1 uh, is a solid result, because Bristol Rovers, they're near the top, and then they used to be like in League 2, I remember, so again, another team that used to be at a higher level, uh, so they have some alright players, you would imagine, so we'll say, we were unlucky tonight, only conceding, yeah, from that free, oh, not free kick, sorry, that corner, still set piece, set piece in general, a bit disappointing, but they did have 11 shots on target, so looking at that stat, maybe we are a bit lucky just to get a point from this game, what was clear-cut chances at? Yeah, we had none, so, again, we don't have absolutely amazing team, but we're grinding out results, and we could have easily got the three points if we just defended that corner chance, it's not like they just played superbly well, uh, in the general play, and they scored through that, they didn't, they needed a corner, so yeah, that's, it, it is disappointing, scoring, or conceding a 86 minute corner goal, you'd want to defend that a bit better, so here we are for the game against Southport in the FA Trophy, as you know, I've been talking about, I want to win this, I want to win this, we need to show in this game that we are a dominant team, and I guess like we have for the past few months, we've Improved so much. I'm not sure where it's even come from. You know, I've been talking about... Some people said change tactics when things were going bad. I didn't change tactics. I didn't really change my players too much. I may have made one or two signings. But surely that's... What do you think the difference is? <laughs> it's hard for me to put my finger on it as well. But yeah, leave your thoughts. What has been <laughs> the sudden reason of this increasing form? But as you can see, opposition instructions applied on them. Again, Leah Lamb. He's really doing well, isn't he, with those team talks? So again, what do you say? Cautiously, come on, lads. We're favourites, okay. So for defenders, we'll go passionately and say there's... Ooh, there's no more to come from you. There we go. Yeah, that's solid reactions. David Pratt is back in starting. Dan Hart as well. So that means Addersbury will come in, the box-to-box -box midfielder. You know he flourishes in that. Dan Bull has got five assists this season from left back. He's been very, very good. I'm starting. I've always liked him ever since my FM14 save, more or less from the start of that. He impressed me. So ever since then, <laughs> I've liked him as a player and he's offside there, which is pretty strange for a left back. And then James Ball. <laughs> there was two balls offside in the first two minutes. So, oh no, we picked up two knocks. 
I just I always feel in important games I get like injuries and stuff like that. I'm not sure if anyone experience the same thing i just feel in really important games like cup games that's when you seem to get yeah like bad things go against you that's just my experience colin mcphee recently signed a new contract as well for a bit less adelsbury finds pratt pratt finds the goal none less than you would expect from mr david pratt seventh goal of the season i think i'm not sure but he think uh, for this series at least or this save so far with bar city I think he scored the most goals for me. I'm not 100% sure, but he did score a lot in the first season. But again, I'm not 100% sure. But David Pratt, really, really neat finish there. It shows you he's still got the quality. Don't forget, this is against a Vanarama Conference North team, or Vanarama North team, however you want to say it. So it's kind of the same level of last year. I'm sure the South and North is basically the same level of teams. And he dominated last season. So here we go. Well, we'll say again, Guard against complacency. It's only 1-0. And the players with the knocks, I'm not really sure what to do as they're important players. And I don't want to sub them out yet. Maybe around 60th the minute, they could be the go-to sub guys. But, yeah, we didn't really concede any chances in the first half. Not too much action. That James Ball is offside again. David Pratt, there's quite a few offside so far. And, yeah, I think, yeah, we have to make sub. I think that's even Chris McPhee now. He picked up a knock, so... He could be subbed eventually, but I think Sakani Simpson, he's still got 76% condition, but we'll bring on, yeah, Andy Gallner, then Demkiv off, we'll bring in Lee Palmer, so two solid guys to come on there, don't really need to change the way we're playing, just personnel really, and again, Andy Gallner for the experience, I guess I haven't noticed too much mistakes from him coming off the bench, and yeah, plugging the hole we need to... Yeah, he needs to come in for, really, any defensive role. But here, Lee Palmer, no pressure, as he's still a young player, and he seems relaxed. Come on. Half an hour to be played. Hopefully, they're not big injuries, because, as I said, two important players. But Evans puts it in here. It's Walker, and it's not over yet. It is not... See, as soon as I made the subs, I concede. Does that make sense? I'm not... Oh. Like, come on, defend set pieces. See, this is the thing I want to let you know. I was working on defending set pieces for quite a while, but then, yeah, I th said to myself, I've been working on this for so long, let's work on attacking for this game or something. So, do you have to keep working on it? Like, you can't work on anything else so you don't concede? I don't know. It's so frustrating. Like, I felt I worked on it for a good three or four weeks, almost a month, pretty much. I just kept it on defending set pieces, and then I thought, yeah, we're not conceding now. And then instantly when you change it, that's when you concede from one. or well, yeah, two. Yeah, two times in the same episode in two different games. It's pretty annoying uh, for mine, but David Pratt scored. Well, that's a hard one because Chris McPhee, he's, he, he's perfect for that deep lying forward role, so we're just going to still take Pratt off. We have to, really. That's all I can say because JPS, we've got to, maybe he, his pace might tell here against the Vanarama North team. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. A draw wouldn't be terrible because then I think we'll play a replay. It won't be extra time and we'll go home. Might be a good chance. But not if we concede again from a set piece. And what I just talked about. No. Oh, man. I was going to say, like, if we're going to lose against this team, we'll be so wrong. It will be so wrong. Come on, get rid of it. <laughs> Please don't concede. Please get just... No, no, not... I'm not going to get angry because there's other people home and I'm not going to scream. I'm just going to be very disappointed if we get knocked out here. See, we tackle them. It goes straight to them. See, I'm never destined to win a cup, especially at a lower level. Oh, another set piece. Oh. And they're going to get it. They're going to... Ugh. This is very disappointing. I might as well see what happens here. Maybe JPS. Look. Look. McPhee. How much space do you need to be in to score, man? How much space do you need to be in? We'll just, again, we'll make, like, I don't know. This is just what I thought, so we'll do it the same as I did in the previous game. Can't see it working, though. We'll go maybe much higher tempo. Not sure. Maybe... I don't even know. I'll take off exploit the middle and not target anything specifically. 
I can't, yeah, I can't think of what to do here. So we're just going, maybe be more expressive. But that's all I can really think of right now. Dan Hart, maybe support. Yeah, maybe the fullback's on attack. Get forward a bit more, but it's too late, I feel. Because you're just going to have maybe one chance or it's just going to be a time where the game just wants to end it. But maybe it'll be one of those occasions where we could get a goal back. JPS. Fuck. Are you serious? Why did he waste that chance? Oh, I wanted to win this. How do we lose against a team in a league below us? When we've been on amazing form. I thought For me, cups are always fishy. It always feels... Just, yeah, whatever is going to happen. And, like, why does he just give it straight to them? Very frustrating game. And it's going to end here. They've had a lot of free kicks, though. That's something I've noticed. So, like I said, yeah, those kind of things that happen. And it's not like they're even a dominant team. I'll probably show you after this game, because I'm trying to figure out why we're going to lose here. Unless we can get something late. Nah, wasn't going to happen. So we should fall to defeat here. They give it out for a corner. Okay, the time's going. Come on. There, don't get me excited for nothing. Just end it. Fuck. Oh, man. Disappointing. I'm not happy. Fine, a couple of players get disappointed, but I don't really care, to be honest. Ah. Uh. It's just frustrating. And it's demotivating because our finances... is like, I, I don't get it. They've hardly got many players as well. They're 16th in the Vanarama North. They've only won seven games this season. <laughs> Come on. But either way, guys, I told you I knew it was going to be a hard episode with two away games. Two away games is never going to be easy. Maybe... Yeah, Southport had the home advantage, and maybe they were due to get a win as well. Maybe in the league, they're losing a lot, and it was just a, a, a good time for them. They were due to win or something. I'm just trying to find a reason why we lost it, uh, because we were on excellent form. Like, we got a draw against Bristol Rovers, and of course, they scored their goal from a corner, don't forget. Not in open play, and they're in, where are they? They're 10th, so they're around mid-table in this division. But we lost against a team that's 16th in the league below this. So that's a bit frustrating to take. Um, I know it's possible, of course. It just it's it it's frustrating. It's frustrating more than anything to take. But anyway, if you're liking me, just recording all these games right now. But because I'm out of the cup, I have a kind of urge to just play a lot of games because I know I keep getting like <laughs> uh, suggested. I'll say I'll say suggested by people uh, to play a bit more off camera. Obviously, I've mentioned that a few times, and I kind of feel like doing it today. After this recorded game, I feel when I'm knock out, knocked out of all cups at this level, there's not much else to achieve the rest of the season. Obviously, it's just you're playing the games. Like, I could play the rest of the season off camera and just see if I'm going to be in playoffs or not. And then I'll play the playoffs if I am there. I could potentially do that because I'm kind of in the mood after this just to sit back and chill, play football manager without you know, worrying about recording or something like that. Just enjoy the game, focus on it more, and I might get better results. <laughs> well, saying that we've been on a good run. So either way, I'm going to say in this video, uh, if you'd like that, but I, I, I might do it before I even upload this video. Like I said, after I finish recording this, I'm just going to sit back and chill and most likely play. So yeah, maybe wish me luck <laughs> uh, to get in the playoff positions. And if I do, if I do get in the playoff positions, you will see that. Uh, so yeah, not in the cup anymore. It's a bit disappointing. I may do a video if I get in or, um, the region update. Uh, we'll see anyway how it goes but hopefully you enjoy this series and drop a like and i'll see you guys next time